Welcome to Make Learning Stay with Sayance. And today we are going to talk about symbiosis, which is the interaction between two species of organisms. Symbiosis is the interaction between two species, two different species of an organism. We are going to talk about mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. We're going to use this picture to help us talk about it because it lends and gives a lot of clues as to what um, these words mean. So let's jump right on into it. Let's get started. Okay, let's first start with mutualism. Mutualism, both organisms are going to benefit. If you look at our organisms, both organisms have a smile on their face. Both organisms are green. They are both happy. They are both going forward. If you look at it, we also have two plus signs because both organisms get something out of the deal. For example, with the crocodile and the plover bird, the bird cleans the crocodile's teeth from of parasites and the crocodile is happy because he gets his teeth clean, she gets her teeth clean, whatever. Okay, so they're both happy. Crocodile gets clean, bird gets food. When we look at the flower and the bee, the bee gets pollen and the flower gets to reproduce sexually, creating more biodiversity, diversity of the flower. Both organisms benefit. Commensalism. Let's look at our commensalism picture. So if you look at the face of the taller organism, it's kind of like, meh, like, uh, I really don't care. It's whatever. And if you look at the organism down here, that organism is happy. Because in a commensalistic relationship, one organism benefits and the other organism doesn't get anything out of the deal. That is why we have a plus and a zero, kind of like for neutral. I like to think of the meh emoji, like meh, hmm, whatever. You can hang around because you're not hurting me or you can go because you're not giving me anything. Examples of a commensalistic relationship. The remora fish attaches to the, um, to the short shark in order to move around the sea. The shark doesn't get anything out of the deal. Barnacles attach to a whale in order for the same benefit. The bigger organism in this instance is the organism that's not getting anything. And in both of these situations, the smaller organism is the one that's getting all of the benefit. I think we are most familiar with parasitism. Notice that in parasitism, one organism is happy, that organism is biting on the other one, and the bigger organism, or it's not necessarily always bigger, but the organism here is not very happy. He has a frowny face because he is getting harmed. Notice you have a smiley face, like, yay, I'm happy to be here. And then you have a frowny face where it's like, uh, you're hurting me. You're causing me some harm. And that is parasitism. And you have a positive negative relationship. For example, you have the parasitic wasp. It lays its egg on this particular caterpillar which is harmful for the caterpillar. Mosquitoes are parasitic. And if you look closely into the mouth of the clownfish, there's an isopod there that's in the mouth of the clownfish taking nutrients from the clownfish. So those are your three symbiotic relationships that we are going to discuss. Mutualism, they both benefit. Commensalism, one is helped, the other one is indifferent. And parasitism one is helped and the other one is hurt. Use those faces to help you remember. Use those positives and negative signs to help you remember. So I hope you have a good one and don't forget, always make your learning stay.